Hey everyone, today we're gonna to show you how to format a hard drive or solid state drive on your Windows 10 PC. We're also gonna show you how to delete those recovery partitions that might be locked that you're struggling to get rid of. So check it out. Hey everyone, it's Ken here from Northern Viking Every Day. If you're new to this channel, we bring you videos on reviews and how to's. So make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to format a hard drive or solid state drive on your Windows 10 PC. We're also gonna show you how to delete partitions or recovery partitions that might be on that drive. Now in my situation, I took an old hard drive out of a laptop and put it in my desktop PC to use for files, programs, that sort of thing. But it did have locked partitions on it because Windows was originally installed on it. So we'll show you exactly how to get rid of those today and unlock them. We'll show you how to initialize and format that drive. So it's quite easy to do. Now we're gonna be using free software that's included within Windows 10. It's PowerShell, Windows PowerShell. We'll show you how to use that or you can use Command Prompt. We'll also show you how to use the disk management software so you can get this all done. Now, the other thing I do wanna mention is that I'm not responsible for any files you lose. It's on you to back up all your files so you don't lose anything because everything on that drive is gonna get wiped out. So make sure you back up everything before you get into this, but let's jump on over to my computer and get right into it. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and open up disk management on our computer. Go to your start menu or your Windows logo, right click on it, not left click. And you are gonna see an option here that says disk management. Go ahead and left click on that. That's gonna open up disk management for you where you can see all the drives on your computer. Now I've got three drives in here right now. I've got disk zero, which is where Windows is installed. I've got disk one. That's the one we're gonna be working on today with all the partitions. And the third one is a CD-ROM drive. Now all these partitions, some of them you can um, do things with, some of them you can't. When I right click on them, this one I could delete and some are just blocked altogether. So we're just gonna wipe all that out so we can actually use it. So we need to go ahead and go back to the start menu, right click again, and we are looking to open up Windows PowerShell, or you might see command prompt here, admin. We wanna make sure we click on that, the one that says admin, go ahead and open that up, and that's gonna open up a little window that looks something like this. Now this is gonna give us a whole bunch of commands that we can type in over here on the right hand side. And go ahead and type in the word disk part, D-I-S-K-P-A-R-T, all one word. And you're gonna see it gives you a prompt here where it says disk part. We can go ahead and type in list disk. Two words, L-I-S-T space D-I-S-K. And it's gonna show the disks here and those should match the disks on the left hand side. So disk zero and disk one. Disk one is the one we're working on today, but make sure you are working on the correct disk. Go ahead and type in select disk one or whichever disk you're working on today. So don't type disk one if you're not using disk one. And you can see it says disk one is now selected. If we type in list disk again, you're gonna see a little star here next to disk one indicating that that is the disk that is selected. From there, we can go ahead and type in clean, hit enter, and it is going to clean that disk. And now watch what happens on the left-hand side. All those partitions are totally wiped out. It says succeeded in cleaning the disk. You can see all the partitions are gone. All the data is gone. I can't stress this enough. Make sure you've backed everything up. You've got the right drive selected before you type in clean. So hope this video is giving you value so far. If it is, make sure to hit that thumbs up button, but let's move on into initializing the disk and getting it all set up so you can go ahead and use it. So the next thing we need to do is reopen disk management. So again, right click on the start menu, left click on disk management, and it's gonna want us to initialize that new disk that it found. So there's a few different options here. I like to select the option that says GPT. This is the newer partition style. So we're gonna go ahead and select that then go ahead and hit OK. And that's gonna initialize that disk and we can start setting it up. You can see disk one here still says unallocated. So we do need to allocate that disk. You can right click on it and you'll see an option here that says new simple volume. That's gonna open up the new simple volume wizard. Go ahead and click next. And this is gonna be the total storage space on there. I like to leave that as is. So just go ahead and hit next. From here, we can go ahead and select what letter we'd like that drive to be. So you can go all the way through here. There's a ton of different letters to select from. I'm gonna go ahead and select the letter Z. And from there, we can just go ahead and leave the other settings for now and 
hit next and that'll take us to the next page. From there, go ahead and make sure format this volume with the following settings is selected. I like to select NTFS in the file system. We'll leave allocation unit size as default and we can go ahead and name the volume label to whatever we like. I'm just gonna label this one as WD one terabyte HDD, which is what it is. Perform a quick format is selected and go ahead and hit next. It's gonna say it's completing the wizard, hit finish. And you can see it's formatting the drive right now and it is complete and ready to go. You can see it's got the name I gave it, WD one terabyte HDD. It's the Z drive. It's all ready to install programs or put your files on it. And it's that simple to format a hard drive or solid state drive and delete recovery partitions in Windows 10. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you're interested, I have created a full video of installing a second solid state drive in my computer. If you wanna check that out, it's linked below in the description. Also remember to connect with me on social media. You will find all those links below as well. Thanks so much for watching today and until next time, take care.